For our last story tonight, let's talk about some annoying blood-sucking creatures. I'm referring to mosquitoes. They seem to be everywhere, feeding on our blood, transmitting diseases, and killing more than 600,000 people every year. But now scientists may have found just the way to fight them. They want to kill mosquitoes by poisoning them, apparently with human blood. So how will this work? Our next report tells you. Mosquitoes are tiny creatures, but their impact can be huge and not in a good way. Last year, the number of malaria cases reached 263 million the world over. In fact, since the year 2000, the world has witnessed about 2.2 billion malaria cases, which have killed 12.7 million people. And malaria is just one of the many deadly diseases that are transported by mosquitoes. For decades now, scientists have tried to fight mosquitoes. They have tried to eliminate stagnant water, introduce mosquito predators like fish into water bodies, or modified mosquitoes to reduce their population. Yet, these annoying creatures continue to haunt us. So now, scientists have a new solution, which sounds a bit like science fiction. Here's what researchers say. They want to poison mosquitoes. With what, you ask? The very thing that these parasites crave, human blood. To give you the gist, scientists want to make our blood poisonous to the mosquitoes. Researchers have discovered that a drug named nitisinone can do just that. This is a medication. It's typically prescribed for rare diseases. But according to the new study, it can make human blood deadly for mosquitoes. Here's how it will work. Scientists will lace human blood with low doses of the drug. This is not harmful for humans, but it will turn the blood so toxic that mosquitoes will die within hours of feeding on it. What's more, the drug remains effective for about 16 days after the initial dosing. Now, this drug does not protect against diseases itself but it works by killing the mosquitoes before they lay eggs, which can reduce the diseases spread by mosquitoes, breaking the chain of infection. Scientists say that this study is still in its nascent stage, and even if it's deployed safely, it cannot eradicate malaria or other such diseases alone. But it can definitely act as a tool to fight the tiny parasites sucking your blood. Greeting you with aloha and namaste. No, I, I, I love India. Presence, uh, occupation of a territory by another country pertains to India. What we saw in Kashmir. How do you see Trump's America? Yes, the current administration behaves differently from the previous administration. Are you saying that there are foreign powers who are trying to bring down the current government in yes, Syria? Exactly. Iran, maybe Russia too. Prime Minister Modi committed to our South-South, you know, cooperation. Is Ukraine prepared to pay the price for that peace? No compromises at the cost of territorial integrity and sovereignty.